So here it is, straight from the horse's mouth, folks. <clears throat> Natural ultramarine pigment made from ground lapis lazuli. This was the most expensive. Remember, okay, most expensive divides by three. And then you can say this was the most expensive divides by three. Then you can say this was the most expensive medium blue pigment. Okay, divides by three. Now you're three times 13 times 13. That's screaming for the number three. And uh, I believe, yeah, Renaissance equals 108 equals worship equals love plus love. That's huge. We need to uh, find the two loves. Let's stop for a moment and just find the two loves in Renaissance because that's huge. I um, had teachers all through schooling call me a Renaissance man because I'm so passionate about every subject. Uh, so let's find the two loves in here. Um, let's see. Well, I can already see it easily. I can put ASS plus AN together to make one love and then the rest makes another love. That's one way of doing it. Um, I like to find 27s if possible. Um, okay, let's see if I can... Ah, okay. So here's, here's an example of a pair of 27s. So R, I'm, I'm using multiple... I'm trying to do keyboard, mouse, and video camera with... Um, and then let's go S, C, E. So here's an example of 27 plus 27 to make love. And then um, for the rest, you can go, uh, you got a pair of 15s plus 24. So 30 plus 24 equals another love. There's multiple ways you can find love plus love in Renaissance. But it's by divine ordinance that Renaissance equals one away equals love plus love. And you can find the, the two loves in multiple ways. So after that little break, let's come back to what this glorious statement is saying. The most expensive medium blue pigment during the Renaissance, often reserved for depicting the robes of angels or the Virgin Mary. You are staring at the most expensive color during the famous paintings of the Renaissance. So, wow. And it's natural ultramarine pigment. All these words divide by three. That three word phrase makes 303. That is the blue. That is like the blue. Royal blue divides by three. And it's obvious because the two letters in royal that do not. Um, and then royalty. Now you can say blue. Color of royalty. Because royalty just adds T-Y to the party. Um, and then you can say the blue color. So the Y here and it's together with the B to make 27. The A here, and it's together with the E to make six. Oh, and yeah, so royal blue in nine letters equals one, one, one perfectly. Genius. And then blue color of royalty divides by three. And then get, get pushy and always put the word the in front by saying the blue color of royalty. You can add the word famous in there if you want. So a royal blue. So the color of the sky. I mean, is, does God like blue? Of course he does. Look at the sky. I mean, it just, it just... You study this created world to understand what God likes. Um, and uh, so, where are we here? We are looking back at this document. So, and then you study world history to understand what God likes. You know, this, this is, by divine ordinance, this, you're staring, we are staring at the most expensive medium blue pigment of the, during the Renaissance. And then era divides by three. So, Renaissance era divides by three. And then you can say the Renaissance era. Okay, that's 3 times the 15th prime, the Renaissance, and then add 24 points for error, and then you get 165. You're back in 15 land, pure and simple. Um, the Renaissance era, you can, I mean, if we start digging in, it's going to explode. Um, upon reserve, wow. So now you can solve, uh, we solve Lazarite, okay, so, okay, um, now we, we, we dug into the chemical formula. You can solve this chemical formula. Every element has a number of protons by divine ordinance. You can put these numbers together and you'll get so many threes coming at you, it's embarrassing. Um, okay, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm tempted to do so. We're just going to read a bit more. Um, you can solve all these names, okay? This will take a while, obviously, but it can be done. Um, crystalline divides by three, and I know marble divides by three, so that's just adding to my repertoire. Crystalline marble, Whew, simple set of, you know, just. Mm. No kidding. So they say the intense blue color is due to the presence of the tri of the triple of sulfur. Well, there's a big three for you.
very intense absorption line. This letter, of course, is 30 divided by 3. And M is 27, the perfect cube of 3. My, my camera, I need to plug it in. Um, just bear with me if I lose power here or lose video. I love truth video. It just. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. That's the wonderful thing about truth, eh? In video, it just. You, you're not in a panic. It's like. It doesn't matter if the video is polished or not. The entertainment world tries to appeal to your eyes because they have nothing satisfying to say. Um, okay, so... Uh, radical anion. 101, 26 prime, glorifies number 3. So, I just quickly... This is, this is review for me. Like, I'm just getting back into knowledge, memory. So... Sulfur is, um, uh, sulfur is, of course, okay, atomic number 16. Um, and then it's yellow. Yellow knits together with the word sulfur to divide by 3, because this, all these letters divide by 3, and the S is plus 1 in front. Uh, that's waiting for the color yellow, the word yellow to come along. <clears throat> so when you talk about yellow sulfur, um, now it's got atomic number 16, so... So 16 times 3 is 48, which is so king for 3 and 8 simultaneously. So that is effective, effectively what we have discovered causes the intense blue color. <laughs> is a triple of sulfur, triple S is 57, which is triple of the 8th prime, triple 8. It adds to 48 uh, in atomic number, which is triple 8 doubled. So this color blue is to the glory of G's is equals A to 8. Done. Um, <laughs> Ignore this year. This date is wrong. Um, <laughs> man, this is getting deep. Of course. So, wow, this is where you find it. Wow. No kidding. And the eyes. They chose it for the eyes of this statue. Now, this, this year is incorrect. Or no, it's, it, that's, that's probably correct. 25th century is legitimate, right? That's yeah, 2,500. Wow! So look, that's those chosen for the eyes of this statue. <sighs> wow. Yeah, exactly. That, that is crazy. 2,400 B.C. But the most important thing is what they chose for the eyes. I mean, the eyes are the, the glory. And so they chose this famous... Wow. Man, if, if you are a lady that has this color of eyes, that's rare. I don't think I've seen a woman that has that strong of a color. I don't think that's possible. I think, I don't think, I think if you ever do see that, it's photoshopped. But that is... That's it, man. I'm, I'm just staring at the king of blues here. What else? 2900 BC from Iran. Man, of course, this is famous. For the eyebrows of the famous um, King Tut mask. Is that all it was used for? I wonder what all this... Well, they obviously love the blue. Um, remember, blue plus gold equals 78 divides by 3. And we've been seeing a ton of 87s and 78s for the number 3. But it just keeps coming. The, the glory of this color is just keep going higher and higher. Uh, where were we? Where were we? And this is from, yeah, this is a very famous painting from the Renaissance, Ultramarine. There it is. Wow. I wonder if he did it for the eyes. <sighs> Bohemian Rhapsody. It's like, yeah, man, we were wearing shades back in the day. Um, Okay, that's from, wow, that's a really old figure. That's crazy. That is, that is ancient jewelry. Whoa, this is, this is satisfying history. Like, this is deep history. This is deep, man. Like, this stone has been the creme de la creme from the dawn of time. Like... Like, whoa, it's like at the apex, it, you know, certainly on her headdress there. Um, 
I remember a girl with a pearl earring divides by three, and a number of letters that divides by three to the glory of the Trinity. The blue is clearly the shining star of this painting, or the red. But I would say the blue. <laughs> the artist loved the blue. Look at how much he, it was just like boom. It's if if this blue wasn't here, you would just be kind of depressed. Um, the azure is the color of sky. It's the color of blue and heraldry, which is like people's favorite, basically. Azure. Okay, so and this is fascinating. So in the ancient world, so now ancient, of course, divides by three. Okay, so the ancient world in three words is a triple of triple eights to the glory of G is equals eight eight. So we just solved the entire ancient world, but now we're going to scoop up more threes from the from this lapis lazuli. Who are we talking about? What's the name? The number? Just yeah, threes galore has been mined in Afghanistan. Afghanistan equals 100 perfectly for the number 3. Mined divides by 3 because the root of all mining divided by 3. Has been mined in Afghanistan. Look at that. This all divides by 3. So the first sentence here divides by 3. In fact, it equals 360 perfectly in 36 letters. Now we're getting really fun. Lapis lazuli has been mined in Afghanistan. Yes, that is true to the glory of the Trinity. Um, and exported to the Mediterranean world in South Asia since the Neo... Okay, now, beware of all these silly age years. These are confused people. The Bible is 100% true and 100% accurate in its chronology. The earth is just over 6,000 years old. If you reject the flood of Noah, and I'm going to, you know, go to creationscience.org and read that entire website. Read the whole thing. It'll explain everything about the age of this earth that you always wanted to know. The Bible is 100% true. The earth is just, okay, I'm not even going to go on, okay? Just ignore this year is wrong. That is incorrect. It is wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, so dating them. beads. Okay, so beads. That's a big one. A bead equals twelve. Pfft, obvious. Hopscotch six plus six. Simple, pure and simple little word in twelve strokes. Glorify the number three. B and A, four strokes. A and the D, or excuse me. Um, B and A, E and the D, six strokes. E and the D make nine in six strokes. E and A make three in six strokes. It's just genius. Interweave the word bead. Quantities of these beads. So. That was the first form of jewelry, was a bead, a single lapis lazuli bead. So let's harvest that gem. That's 150. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's 150 in 15 letters and 33 strokes. A single lapis lazuli bead, basically one of the oldest forms of jewelry. Um, and then you can solve uh, this place. For example, this, this place divides by three. Like, now we're going really deep, which we should. In fact, 78, we've been seeing 78 all over the place. That is... Like, we've been, just, okay. Um, there were other artistic gems in that. What, what is this place? Wow. One of the most important sites, so ignore these years. These could be very, I mean, very far off. I mean, certainly there was nothing before the flood of Noah. I get you the exact, in archaeology. One of the most important sites. One of the earliest sites and evidence of farming and herding in South Asia. And by divine ordinance, it screams out the number three, the name. This is better than, this is infinitely better than Lord of the Rings. It's located near the Bolin Pass, which divides by three in nine letters, 99. Chain links and bookends, no less. And I can say the Bolin Pass. To the west of the Indus River Valley, in between the path. You can solve the names of the people. Thirty-two thousand artifacts have been collected from, from the story of God. Artifacts equals Merigark. Mergar. Mergar. So artifact equals Mergar by divine ordinance to the glory of the Triune God. 32,000 of artifacts have been found in Mergar to the glory of the Trinity. Now, so this is what you call a treasure trove. It's even marked with three stars, you know. Three red stars divides by three, you know, whatever. Three red, you know, whatever. Red X marks the spot. So, okay. So, all that to say is, that's where some of the original beads. Um, <clears throat> even this location divides by three. Uh, okay, with equal hopscotch. Okay, on the ancient river of the Afghan, the Indus Valley. Found it, so it's in the Bronze Age site. Of Incidentally, you should read as much as you possibly can off of Wikipedia every single day with clear lenses of that it's all for the Trinity. A dagger with a lapis handle. A dagger was then found. Dagger divides by three, just like knife. So a bead 
a number of letters and strokes. There we just solved every dagger. So a dagger with a lapis handle. You could say dagger with a lapis handle. That divides by three. <clears throat> and then a bowl inlaid with lapis. And amulets, beads. Amulet divides by three. Whew. The fact that's 72. Man, an amulet. Bold does not divide by three. If it doesn't divide by three, it's meant to knit together with all sorts of other things. Wow. A single eyebrow divides by three. A single beard divides by three. Whew. Was used in ancient Mesopotamia by the Akkadians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians for seals and jewelry. Like the seal of the governor or whatever. This is insane. What a find this is. Lapis, the Latin word for stone. This is so huge. I mean, stone is so huge. And it has one Latin word, lapis. Nine strokes, three times three, 57, triple eight. We're just drinking of the nectar of truth. Of course, jewelry um, It's very easy. You know, the center... Okay, I'm not... The epic of, in the Mesopotamian poem, the epic of Galgamesh, that divides by three. Galgam, Gil, all I know is that Gilgamesh in the history books is pure threes and nine letters. Nine times nine and nine letters and 24 strokes. And then epic divides by three. So the epic of Gilgamesh is screaming out the number three. 15 times three times three and 15 letters. Add that to the party, you get the famous 168. And, and letters and strokes that divide by three. What is this? This is going way back. First of all, this, this, this is going way back. One of the oldest, remember the oldest divides by three. I mean, the oldest equals love, love, equals worship. Nine plus 21, like never forget that. You wanna to go to the oldest. God is the oldest. The oldest has always been the best. God is the oldest. You want the best, you gotta spend time with God. The Trinity, Jesus is the oldest. The Holy Ghost is the oldest. Why are you spending your time around dumb people that haven't even been alive 100 years on this planet? I'm sick and tired of people trying to find their satisfaction in people. You won't get it. Get in the presence of God. Spend hours in worship. Spend hours in prayer. You'll be happy. And other people will be happy too because they don't want to see you. They want to see God. Uh, the, English, the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest known works of literature. Wow! This is one of the oldest known works. Lapis Lazuli is mentioned several times. And, and one of the oldest known works of literature. Well, let's dig in. God has given us Wikipedia and the internet for this reason. I, I, I swear the entire internet exists basically for the purpose of truth. <laughs> and Wikipedia is, is one of the kings for it. Wikipedia, remember, never, never forget that Wikipedia equals truth. The Epic of Gilgamesh is an epic poem. <laughs> Certainly it is. From the ancient Mesopotamia, dating from the third dynasty of Ur. We can dig in, you know, is often regarded as the great, first great work of literature. The first great work of literature? You've got to be kidding me. Why did no one ever tell me about this? Literary history of Gilgamesh begins with five Sumerian poems about Bigamesh. Anyways, I'm going to read and I'm going to dig into this later because I don't want to lose context with the stone. Okay, I'm going to dig into this later. I don't want to lose context, but it's okay. So he's referring to it. The statue of Ebe, a third millennium <sighs> BC statue found in the Modern-day modern Syria. Now in the Louvre. Louvre contains love. It's obvious. It's obvious who owns the Louvre. God, who is love. It's like love is sitting right there. It's just obvious. For the irises of the eyes. So is that uh, this thing? No. The statue. So again, another statue from the third century, from the third millennium. BC uses lapis lazuli. Oh yeah, that's this guy. And never forget museum. Oh, man. Incredible. Also made its way across the Mediterranean to ancient Egypt, where it was a favorite stone for amulets and ornaments. That's easy. Such so as scarabs. Okay, it's easy. Tribute. Wow. 
powder divides by three, so powdered lapis was often was used as eyeshadow by Cleopatra. Oh my goodness, that's insane threes there. Eyeshadow, no kidding. Even eyeshadow divides by three. There's a small plug for makeup. Hmm. Sapphire. That's easy. This is a cool word in Latin. It deduces directly to three by the law of prime. Easy. Wow. There are many references to sapphires in the Old Testament were not known before the Roman Empire. They are most likely references to lapis lazuli. For instance, Exodus 24, verse 10. Oh my goodness. As they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of a sapphire stone. Sapphire stone divides by three. Chain linked and bookended with 24s. The term used in the Latin Vulgate Bible in this citation. Ah, is lap lapidus sapphiri. The term for lapis lazuli. Shocking, and that's the double of the 24th prime, double, triple, eight. In modern translations of the Bible, references like brilliant blue lapis lazuli, as clear as the sky. A surface like brilliant blue lapis as clear as the sky as being under God's feet. Wow. That's huge. So I think we've discovered a massive king of minerals and colors. Hmm. Now you can, it's synthesized or simulated by the Gilson process, which divides by three, which is often used to make artificial ultramarine. This is too obvious. A fresco divides by three equals 66 and six letters and six prime strokes. And then so frescoes divides by three, being 90. And then oil painting, oil and paint both divide by three, so oil painting is three. Its usage as a pigment in oil paint largely ended. Pigment and oil paint both divide by 12, differing by 12. Paint divides by 12. Oil divides by 12. Pigment divides by 12. Color equals pigment. Pigment divides by 12. And then ultramarine um, divides by 12. <laughs> Composed of two sections that divide by 12. Ultra divides by 12. Marine divides by 12. In case you wonder whether or not God loves ultramarine, Read the, the description of New Jerusalem in heaven, and there's so many 12s coming at you, it's ridiculous. And I see 12 all over this story. Oil paint largely ended when a chemically identical synthetic variety became available. Well, we should go back to the original, shouldn't we? <laughs> So cool. Wow. <laughs> Even semi precious stone. Okay, I'm feeling satisfied. 
I am feeling satisfied. Middle age divides by three. In very obvious fashion, you can slice it in half to get two thirties. The S is superlative on the end. The middle age, just like middle earth, divides by three. And then so this phrase, at the end of the middle ages, that divides by three perfectly. Ultramarine there, the finest and most expensive. In all the holy artwork. There it is. Finish with the name. Lazuli, pure threes. Nine strokes for that. Twelve strokes for that. Insane. All together. <laughs> wow. Current date and time for historic purposes. Genius.